Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for May. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, this is going to be um, an overview for me that I'm going to read through a Celtic cross and your more focused uh, love and career readings will be uploaded in the coming few days. And please let me know in the comments which particular placement of yours you see readings for. I'm curious to know. All right, let's get you a star code oracle as always. I cannot do without this deck. I feel like it's, well, it's needed. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm so glad you got this. I think you got opposition or uh, square or something like that in one of your previous readings and that was quite upsetting. But now you have trine, sextile and symbiosis. Beautiful energy. Let's get you a wisdom of the oracle and then I will move on to your tarot. Serendipity. How beautiful is this card? Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Serendipity talks about luck to an extent. You see the four leaf clover. It talks about Kesara, just letting things be. And whatever comes your way is a bonus. It talks about not having too many expectations and trusting that beautiful things will come your way. It talks about luck, like I said. The universe is constantly plotting, not in a bad way. It's constantly trying to bring opportunities to us. And sometimes we can ignore them. We may feel like they're not good enough. But if something happens by chance, let's say you meet a person by chance in a coffee shop, all right, there could be more to it. They might not just have to stay an acquaintance. You know what I mean? That is serendipity for me. It's something that's meant to happen. I feel like these meant to happen situations may be coming about for you now and keep an open eye. Make sure you don't miss out on these opportunities no matter how small they may be. But this is a card of receiving a gift from the universe. And then we have symbiosis. And I say this a lot, when two planets try and or sextile each other, they bring out the best in each other. It is a card of harmony, of integrating your energy with another to create something beautiful. It could be a card of marriage. It could be that you are getting married to somebody who you feel is completely different from you but brings out the best in you. This could also be a happy partnership at work. Maybe you finally find, found someone who shares your work ethic and you can create a beautiful project or a business together. Um, but we shall see. This could also talk about a familial bond or a friendship. And I feel like for some of you, this bond or this meeting, this happy meeting will come about very randomly while you're least expecting it to. It's like, you know, when you meet somebody and years down the line, you think about that meeting and you're like, wait, I didn't realize that one day that person would be so important to me. You know, that's what I'm getting here. All right. We have, oh, wow. Very interesting. We have the Six of Cups and the World. I suddenly got something and I have to address it. With the Six of Cups, you remember what I just said about you meet somebody and then years down the line you don't realize how important, how they got so important to you. I feel some of you may be surrounded by a friendship that may have started off as an acquaintance. And over time, that bond became so deep that either that person became family to you or that person became more. It could be that a friendship turned into a romance. But there is a sort of energy around you from the past that has completed its journey in terms of being something diluted. It's time for it to become something more. I don't know what that is. It could also be that you've worked with somebody in the past and you've completed your journey as colleagues and you're finally willing to begin a new project together or start a new business together. Let's see, what is your focus? The Eight of Swords, you're stuck. You are stuck about something. You're not letting yourself free. I'll need to pull more cards around this to see what this could be regarding. So let me see what happened in the past. 
page of wands i feel that you were kind of um disappointed disappointed with the people who uh, were a part of your life whether this was at the workplace or it was in love i feel like the people you were dealing with were slightly more immature than you would have hoped for and these people may have been very curious and adventurous but it's almost like there was nothing grounding those relationships they were in and out you know and i think that is what is putting you in your head because whatever this opportunity is that is being presented to you now uh that wants to almost try new you, you you're almost like no i don't want to look at it because you know history might repeat itself interesting let's see what is your strength the magician master manifester scorpio the magician always shows up for you no joke uh, a very dear friend of mine is a scorpio and he always says that oh well the magician is me i'm like well it's not really you it's not a scorpio card but then he said yeah but it always shows up for scorpios and i agree if anybody can be a master manifester it is you scorpio because you are so highly intuitive and empathetic at the same time you are ruled by pluto who i mean the god of the underworld you can go deep dark into the depths of life and pull out the light from there i feel you need to get out of your head and more into your heart and more into your intuition use the water in your chart constructively the magician uses all the four elements the swan represents water wait is that not focused sorry about that yeah that's not working either anyway the butterfly represents air uh the foliage represents earth and what else do we have yeah she's holding a wand right there which represents fire so i feel we all have all the elements in our charts okay and we need to know how to use them wisely the fire in our chart can make us passionate and aggressive the water in our chart can make us intuitive and loving and emotional the air in our chart makes us wise it makes us communicative it makes us logical and the earth in our chart makes us grounded practical stable so use all of those personality traits of yours and make life happen because you can what is in your immediate future scorpio four of swords a little bit of downtime a little bit of healing may be involved here i did say that you are very empathetic as a person i feel that when you are training people when you are meeting new people when you are trying to build bonds and relationships you can take on their emotions good or bad and i feel that you may have taken on too many bad emotions from people and when one absorbs these negative emotions it can overwhelm especially a water sign so maybe a little bit of downtime away from people who exhaust you and drain you is the order of the day let's see how you're showing up to this reading six of wands you're showing up as somebody who is intent on being successful and rightly so i feel a lot of you are in a very not a complacent energy but in an energy of all right I have the right intentions I have worked correctly I have manifested correctly I'm leaving the rest up to the universe serendipity is going to take care of it my luck and karma is going to take care of it and you are very strong in your power and people are well looking at you in a very um admirable way they're looking at you admiring you respecting you and seeing you for who you really are feel like you're shining let's see external influences the king of cups there is somebody around you who could be your strength the king of cups for me is scorpio energy it is somebody who is very um they hold back their emotions that doesn't mean they don't have them but i feel like someone around you is almost your rock someone you can trust trust your emotions with someone who will guide your ship you know who will be an anchor for your ship so reach out to the people who care about you and i feel like if there aren't too many people who you can trust right now i'm sure there is one because we do have trine sextile symbiosis someone you have a deep connection with someone you can speak to about this let's see hopes and fears knight of wands yeah again 
you remember i said when the page of wands showed up that people around you may have been very in and out they may have been immature the knight of wands is a similar energy of someone being in and out of someone uh, not having that staying power so when it comes to your relationships i feel like you don't want to take any risks anymore you want someone to ground you someone to stabilize you and someone to be that king of cups so i don't know i feel like with the magician showing up you have to understand that the vibration you put out is is what you're going to attract back to your life make sure you are that grounding force in people's lives so that they can do the same for you you know what i mean let's see potential outcome we have the 5 of cups this is the energy of looking at the glass half empty you're looking at the flowers that are floating away and you're upset about them those flowers were not strong enough to stick to the branch the people around you some of them are not strong enough or reliable enough to be a part of your life look at the people who are the people who stuck by you the relationships that have trained you and stayed with you for a long time and cherish those and i feel like once you do that you will become a happier person the people who've been in and out of your life don't let them take the spotlight right now only focus on people who are stable let's see what do we have at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups now this could be a mother figure or this could just be you this is that energy of loving from the heart thinking from the heart operating from a place of the heart and i feel like if you open yourself up a little bit to the right people scorpio you will form healthier bonds and that will help you get out of your head all right that was your reading scorpio i hope it helped you guys i will see you in the next one bye bye